Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing like a follow up on some of the old cigars. Uh, because before I did another, I think I did maybe Oplencia or something like that. And people was like, what do you think about Let Biju? Okay, we'll do a Let Biju. So today we're doing the My Father's 1922 Let Biju. Okay. So because the cigar is pretty old and I can only find so much information, you know, and like, I would read it and go like, ah, that doesn't sound right. And I had to go find another one. So I went through a uh, few websites to get that information. Might be inconsistent. Okay. So let's take a good look at the cigar. All right. Let's take a good look at the cigar. All right. So the cigar itself is a Toro size. I believe uh, it's 6 by 52 And um, the filler is Nicaraguan. The binder is Nicarag Nicaraguan. And the wrapper is also Nicaraguan. But just that the wrapper is a Habano Escuro wrapper. And that's pretty much it. And then, you know, the, the cigar itself looks very like just chocolatey, uh, dark looking with the orange band on the bottom. Okay. So yeah, this is like, you know, it's distinct because it's been there for a while now, but it's also like, it looks kind of like a new cigar as if it's a new cigar, but it's not. This thing was originally issued 2010. There we go. So it's quite a bit ago, quite a bit ago. All right, so start smoking the cigar. I'm really awkward today. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I'm doing an old cigar and this is like, like based on what I remember, contradicts and what I'm reading. <laughs> so I like I like which one am I doing? What am I doing today? What am I doing today? All right, nice. My fan just kicked on. Leathery, chocolatey, and a little bit earthy sweetness on the smell. Let's cut. <clears throat> All right, cut it in a slanted way, but that's okay. Not gonna change anything. Mm. All right, the draw is um, bothering me. To give it the best chance possible, we'll cut a lot the line. All right. Better draw. All right, better draw. Okay. Long yard and some sweetness. And hickory. Like bacon. Um with smoked bakery, like a barbecue almost. All right, Let's light this up. I'm pretty sure everybody know, but for those people who doesn't know, Let Be Jew means the jewel. Mm. Right away, this whole overwhelming 
dark note, black coffee, earthiness, mineral, just rush over. Oof. A little bit of nutmeg, woodsiness. Some sort of like a berry sweetness going on. And at the end, pepper burns a little bit. Yeah, there's some like grain, hay, or um, I always just want to call it grain, grain notes, like grain notes. So MSRP, this price at eleven seventy. So we'll start with that point, and we'll see where that goes. Eleven seventy. Woodsy, woodsy. All right, I gotta find myself something to drink. Okay. So let me go smoke one third of this and I'll be back and we'll see where we go with that. Be right back. Okay, so we are about one third of the way in. I gotta be very careful because as I start smoking it, I remember <laughs> why I don't usually smoke the cigar. The cigar is bold, it's punchy, it's got pepper, it's got a lot of dark notes, it's got a little bit of sweetness, like um, berry or cherry sweetness to it. But it's a full cigar, full strain cigar. It's at first, maybe you'll think that is a medium, the medium plus, but it quickly reminds you that it's a full cigar. I gotta have a sweet drink. But the problem with the sweet drink is that the street sweet drink screws with the flavor. So I can only take a sip if so often. I don't want it to kind of tint the flavor I have. I make sure to get a almond flavor stuff because I know that this cigar does not have almond flavor. I can just ignore that. If I taste almond, it's not from the cigar. So. Very dark note. Sweet. Um, woodsy. At times, tastes like chocolate, but it's not. That, that's really the dark coffee. So it's like it's trying to give you everything at the same time, plus the strength. And I know that sometimes that the strength part of it kicking a little bit earlier, it kind of skewed the flavor a little bit. But it's still a really good cigar. Really, 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 I would say manly cigar. You know, it's like woodsy and dark nodes and, 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 and just maybe a tad of floralness, earthy and, and just pungent. Just pungent, okay? Beautiful cigar, it's really good. It tastes good to me, and this is why this cigar is still out there being very popular after being, what, um, 15 years, no, 13 years in, 14 years in. So, one third of the way in, we gotta get to, I will say, probably the sweet spot of this cigar, the second third, and we'll go through with it, talk about the transitions, if there are any. And, and yeah, we'll be back. But before that, let me show you the first band. Oh, obviously, obviously, first band is really this ribbon thing. And there's nothing to talk about other than the color. I mean, this color is supposed to just kind of put everything in the decoration. It's not, doesn't do anything. So, but the first band is this one. Let me do 1922. Here we go. All right. I like the coloring. I talked about this before. Uh, even the Oplensia, I think it has a, like a similar theme. It looks really nice. So, there you go. There you go. All right. So, into the second third. We'll be right back. All right. Second third. It's a good cigar, man. It's not how I remember it. <clears throat> but it's a good cigar. Woody. But sweet. It's got that. Very sweet that always kind of just save you at the end. 
you, 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 you take a puff, it's woodsy, it's dark noise, like, you know, strain coming in. And then you're like, ah, oh, and then the cherry or berry sweetness go, oh, save you. Pull you back to reality. And then you go, oh, I can take another, another puff. And it's good again. It has a little bit of floral too. It's good. Now, I wouldn't say the flavor is like full body. It's about medium body. You can taste everything, but it's not like, Gong, you know, but the pepper, uh, it does burn a little bit, but it's not like kill you burn too. So it's good balance. Good balance, right? Good balance. So with the last third, uh, I slow down the smoking a little bit because, um, you know, it is a medium, medium, medium plus to full. It's definitely at least medium plus to full. And it depends what you eat for the day and the temperature and all that stuff that, you know, changes the smoking dynamic. But for me, it's also a good cigar to slowly enjoy. So I will enjoy the last there and we'll get back to the summary. Look at the last band and I'll give you my final price. I don't even think you got to be shocked at what price I'm going to give it to. But we'll be right back. All right. Last there. That will be it. First, let's talk about the band. Very similar band to the rest. Green, orange, yellow, peach color. I like this um, band from my father's. Like, you know, it's got everything. It's filled in. There's no empty spot. Good looking band. My father band. Right there. And then, Laster. I don't think I'll call this dropping flavor, but Laster has a more primary of a toasted nuttiness. Um, maybe a walnut, chestnut, walnut, more like walnut kind of a flavor. It's, it's actually pretty good. It got sweeter. It got nicer. It's like a good finish, right? And, and, and I feel like the string dropped off just a little bit, but not a lot. And maybe because I slowed down or whatnot, but it's a good cigar. So I would recommend anybody. This, like, this is no brain. I can recommend anybody to go try this cigar. I already don't remember how much this cigar was. It was like 11 something. But I will rate this cigar at 15. Even if the cigar is at $15, I will still able to buy this and go, that's enjoyable. That's $15 worth of cigar enjoyment right here. That's good cigar. This is one of those cigars where they price it right for sale. Everybody can try it. Not going to break your bank too much. Even at $15, I feel like that's more than enough enjoyment to reach a $15 range. So good cigar. Okay. And it should come at no question. But it is not a beginner cigar. Because uh, at beginner, if you get to the, um, this strength, you're not going to enjoy as much, right? This is more like a novice. I smoke like a year or so. I can handle medium, medium plus, full. Then I can enjoy the cigar, right? Even better if you can tell the notes already, right? I mean, some people uh, don't care about the notes, but there are some people that can enjoy some of the note not just to tell the note but enjoy the notes right so that would be one of those cigars that if you can enjoy it you will find that this cigar is very enjoyable i like it totally enjoyed it i'm gonna continue to smoke the last little bit and yeah that's pretty much it uh the next my father if anything it's gotta be for the regular with their regular production it's probably gotta be the judge uh, for the regular production review, but there, we also had the limited edition stuff coming out. The, the the La Union, that's from my father. I also had to review. So look forward to those. If you like this review, like, subscribe, comment, share your thoughts, and um, yeah. And then we have uh, early access. If you want to join those early access, you get you know quicker review. I mean, watch the the contents early. Right. We also have Sunday podcast. Make sure to listen to those. Those are pretty interesting from time to time. And that will be it for this particular review. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.